Hey guys, so today I thought I would film for you my lipstick collection because I get asked quite often to do like makeup collection videos and stuff like that. So I thought what I would do today is do my lipsticks and then if you guys enjoy it then maybe I can do each section and then if you still really want it then I can do a makeup collection at the end. So I'm just going to give you a little overview. This is my vanity, so this is where I sit and I love my dressing table and my chair is literally just my favourite. And over here you can just see Harry and his dog. Um, these are my two drawers, these do have makeup in as well but the majority of my makeup is stored in here. So each drawer is like a different section and that sort of stuff, so yeah. And then this over here, this is where I sit on the floor and my cushion that I get asked an awful lot about that my gorgeous friend Rachel bought for me. Um, I got it for Christmas two years ago and I just love it. It's um, glitter and sparkly and everything I could wish for. I did ask her as well because a couple of people wanted to know where it came from and the place she got it from no longer makes them or exists. It's closed down unfortunately. So yeah I can't help with that one I'm afraid. Right so as I mentioned this is my vanity and then up here I've got like my mirror and then just some pretty little things that all girls want so my lipstick collection actually lives in here so this is my lipstick drawer and as you can see I have issues this for me is like an OCD dream I love it because I like everything to be in like brand and stuff like that not necessarily in color because with names and things like that you can't necessarily do that if this isn't as clear as normal that is because I'm filming on my little handheld camera just because I wanted to be able to zoom in and out for you kind of thing right so over here at the back i have a few lashes so i don't wear lashes a lot as you know but i've got some of my favorites so i've got the red cherry 523 i really really like these they're full but they're not heavy um then i've got the fleur de force these are the um half lashes i really like these as well i've worn both of those a couple of times because I don't wear them all the time, lashes tend to last me a long time. These were something I bought for a fancy dress. Probably never going to wear them. Going to just put it out there. Then these are some new MAC lashes that I picked up. These are 35s. I'm so excited about these. If it will focus. They're just so, so pretty. Look at them. <gasps> Gorgeous. So little tufts. And they don't flare out at this side. Which I personally prefer on myself. Because if they flare out on the side, I tend to feel like I've got a lazy eye. And then these are just my normal, regular, what are these? These are the 48, so 43 and 48. I wear these occasionally, but yeah. And then what else have I got there? I've got another pair of Eyelure double lashes, and then these are just a pair of 415s from Red Cherry. These are quite similar to Demi Wispies. They flare out a little bit too much at the side for me, so I tend to cut off the end. Then I've also got my lash glue in here. The Eyelure Lash Glue is actually my favourite. I prefer it personally to the Duo. Just my personal preference. I don't know why the lash, the Duo Lash, it's just not for me. I think it's because I had the deep or the dark tone and I just didn't enjoy it. Whenever I used to remove it, there were still bits and pieces hanging around. And then in here, I've just got, like, I've got two of my little um fragrance things that you can like decamp fragrance into so this is the first one and then i've got a li another little one there and then the rest of this this is all just different lip balms and stuff like that so i've got carmex nivea some ones uh burt's bees my favorite which we can't get here and even though we can get sephora they don't import these ones on their list this is the sugar rose i love these they're amazing and um, the fresh sugar just so so moisturizing so that's that little section there then back here this is just a little empty pot that i got with a sample of something in i think it was oh no it wasn't it was the makeup base from inglot that i really hated but when i decided that i wasn't going to try it anymore i just emptied the pot and um kept it because it was handy for a little sample or something then behind here these are just the inserts oh no they're not these are my um tattoos and then the inserts are just in there you can see they're the little magnets for the z palette and then these are just some metallic tattoos that i've worn a couple of times and i quite like in the summer they last for a good few days as well so they're quite cute right now the rest of it is all lipstick so as you can see everything is sort of like in brand i am just a little bit like that i like it when things all sort of like click together and fit this is annoying me as you can tell because it won't fit so 
the majority of my lipsticks are MAC. That is because I've done an awful lot of back to MAC and I tend to buy MAC lipsticks in limited collections and things like that. I just really, really enjoy them. I love them. I've been using them the longest. High end wise, they're one of my favorites. So that is why I have so many. My all time favorite, if you've been watching me for a little while, is Angel. If you want like a complete overview of colours and stuff like that, then let me know and I can do that. Okay, so moving back after our MAC ones and then these ones here, these are all like limited edition ones. So I only keep them there because I tend to remember the colours of these ones. So I've got Marilyn one. I think that's another Marilyn one. That was from the, is it the Hay Sailor collection? It's a red colour. Really, really pretty. Don't wear it a huge amount though, to be honest, because I prefer a darker red. This is really, really hard one-handed. See, look, how can I do this? There we go. Um, yeah, then we've got Innocence Beware, Riri, is it Viva Glam Rihanna or Riri Woo, whatever it was. And then this is one from one of the winter collections a couple of years ago that I like to put on top of stuff. I've got two here that my friend Beth sent me. One is from MUA and one is from Jordana. This is the Jordana Modern Matte. This is really lovely. It's really creamy and it's like my perfect colour. I've got a little baby Longcomb here. And then we've got my two Milani lipsticks. Again, one that my friend Beth sent me and one that I picked up myself. I really, really like them. They're beautiful. My one Gerard Cosmetics item in my whole like collection not really impressed with it if i'm honest but that's just me personally i think i got fairy godmother is it fairy godmother yeah it is it's just like a pink color i like the packaging it is exactly the same as a mac bullet but in gold so it does look really pretty then here these are all my l'oreal i really really like l'oreal lipsticks i love the way they smell i literally love the way they smell it's incredible and then moving back so this is annoying me because it's not standing up these are my Tom Ford. I really like Tom Ford packaging and I do really enjoy the formula. However, I don't know. I've got three. I probably wouldn't go crazy adding more and more and more of them to my collection. They're nice, but they can be duped. I've got Flamingo, which is very similar to Impassioned or Electric Pink Matte from Smashbox. Spanish Pink, which is my personally most individual colour. And then I've got Violet for Tau, which is near enough identical to Rebel, if I'm honest. Then I've got three of the Rouge Velap from YSL, two of the Glossy Stains, and my favourite is, is it that one? No, this one, and this is number 17. I love these, and the Glossy Stains, I think as far as the Glossy Stains go, are by far the best. The packaging's just really beautiful. I like the way they smell. They're really long lasting. The stain doesn't dry my lips out. They're literally incredible. And I love number 18. The other one is more like a rosy color. I like it, but I don't love it. Then I've just got two YSL regular lipsticks. One is a really old one that I just can't part with because it's sentimental. I don't really use it. And then the other one is like a nudie color. Then I've got three Chanel's. Now with Chanel lipsticks, I love them, but I don't love them. They're one of those things. I find them quite hit or miss, but I've got one of the Rouge Coco Shine, which is probably my least favourite formula. Then I've got the regular um, just cream lipstick, and that's in mango, so it's nice orange. And then I've got this one, which for me, I think it's all about the packaging. You just press it and it pops up. And this is called Diva, and it's one of their matte ones, and it's like a neon pink, like so many of my lipsticks. But I just love that packaging. It's so cute. Nice enough lipstick, but... I have got this colour in various other brands. Um, at the back here, I've got a Revlon, a couple of Topshop, which I do like, a couple of Illamasqua, again, hit or miss. Um, I've got Fable and I've got Over, which is like an orange colour. These here are my Smashbox lipsticks. I've got six of them. Um, I've got Fuchsia Flash, Magenta Matte, Electric Pink, Magenta Matte, Pretty Social and mauve matte and that one's not magenta matte that one's infrared matte which is my favorite red of all time i love it it's like a i did instagram it it's just like the perfect pin-up red and it's matte and it's just really long lasting i literally love this lipstick so much it's absolutely beautiful okay over here at the back i've got a bourgeois i've got an estee lauder one of the urban decay a couple of the maybelline color whispers that my friends jamie and mendy sent me when we did a swap i really like these but i won't talk about them too much because we can't get them here and it just makes me sad um a really old urban decay one that i just really like the packaging i don't really wear it anymore a couple of revlon then these are my maybelline lipsticks here i really really like them for their brights and their neons i think they do them fabulously well 
Then I've got three Dior lipsticks that are these ones here. My favourite is Dior Swan. I love it. It's just beautiful. We've got a couple of Longcomb here, or three Longcomb. I've just got a little um, lip balm there. I just use that to stop these falling over. Um, three of the Longcomb, really, really lovely. One Charlotte Tilbury, a Clinique. Another Longcomb lipstick here. This one is one of the Rouge Absolu. So it's part of their moisturising range. And it's just a really, really pretty coral. I like that in the summer more than the winter. It's just really, really pretty. Then these are the lip lacquers, again from Smashbox. So I've got three of those. Over here at the back, I have my all-time favourite liquid lipsticks. These are the Lime Crime Velveteens. I just love them. They don't dry my lips out. They're really long-lasting. They're... They're just beautiful. I literally adore them. And I've got four of those. My least favourite is this one, which is pink velvet. But my favourite favourite is red velvet. Closely followed by Wicked, which if you've watched me for a while, you know that I found late last year. So amazing. Then I've got one of the um, soft matte creams from NYX, which is really pretty. That's in the colour Copenhagen. I recently hauled that for you. And then these are two of the Longcomb equivalents. So these are like a matte liquid lipstick, but they don't dry as much. They're more like a gloss almost. And then this is the Jeffree Star. I really, really like these. They're beautiful. Is it going to focus? And I think this one's called Style Queen or Queen Supreme. Queen Supreme. And they're just beautiful. Again, they're non-drying at all. These are my lipsticks. Now, I understand this lip this video is a bit rambly, so if you didn't enjoy it, I completely get it. But if you want to see other bits from my collection, then please do just let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Mwah.